Hello lady machines and gentle machines, hope you guys are enjoying your day. We are currently going to work on Crush. As you guys saw yesterday, uh, I kind of got my uncle's trailer stuck in the woods so he couldn't take that second truck back to the scrapyard. He has informed me that we will meet up in like an hour or two and hopefully get that out of the woods. It has dried up a little bit. Well, it's warmed up, so it should dry out. I have one orange piece left to put on Crush, which goes right back there on that wheel well, or fender flare, whatever you want to call that. And then I have a couple Crush stickers that kind of look like that that I want to put on. Here's one here. There's one there. So I'm thinking I want to put them inside the wheel well. As you guys know, my next race is in Millfield, Ohio. It's the 26th of this month. So yes, only a day or two away. If you guys want to come out and see Crush race, he will be racing at 4 p.m. on Saturday. All the info will be in the comment section. Come out, check us out. We'll have a lot of fun. I know it's dark right now and it probably doesn't make any sense, but I'm only gonna be an hour away from Roman Atwood. So all you machine freaks, go to Roman Atwood's comment section, his Twitter feed, anything, and say, hey, 3D Machines is only gonna be an hour away after the race, maybe uh, we can race or something. He's got a Maverick X3. Basically the same thing, but it's made by Can-Am. Let's see what Team Machine can do here. All right, I got the two decals on here. I got one in the wheel well here, that one up there, and then I have the third one up on the wall there. So now that crush looks spunky. I can make them feel spunky. Crush's drivetrain is all lubed up. Now I want to change the engine oil and the transmission fluid. I don't remember at the top of my head how often you're supposed to change the transmission fluid. And offhand, I really don't know how often you're supposed to change the engine oil. However, I do know whenever I used to ride my four-wheeler, I would only change the oil maybe once or twice a year. Then I got my Kawasaki and that opened my eyes to the racing field because Chase informed me that he changed the oil every two hours and I continued that cycle. Crush, I gotta feel like it's gonna be the same thing. I just took my transmission dipstick out and this is what the oil looks like. It's right there, so it's really, really clean. However, I don't know what the previous owner did with fluid changes, if he ever changed it at all. So I kind of just want to change it out so that it's changed. And plus, I kind of roasted the clutch on uh, one of the hills earlier. Yeah, that hill. So we'll start out with new transmission fluid and I'll look up how often you're supposed to change it after this change. Just like my hair, we're gonna need some flow, so I'm gonna warm up the engine, get the fluids nice and flowy. Uh. I just wanna change the wire, so listen to what it sounds like right now when it turns over. Midway through my oil changes, I got a call from my uncle headed up to the truck right now. He says it's pretty dry up there, so we'll see if we have to hook up the Cummins or not to rescue, uh, well, it was originally the Duramax's job, but it's not a power issue. It's more of a traction issue, and we both have terrible, terrible tires at the moment. Made it to the truck. If you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, go check that out. We put this thing on the trailer. It took me a little while because it wasn't positioned in the best place ever. Yesterday, the ground was really, really slick, so the truck was just sliding downhill. Same with the trailer. It's dried up a little bit. We were afraid that the trailer would hit this tree and not only screw up the trailer, but be stuck even more. So now I came up with a plan. My uncle's not here yet. I think that our Max can do it, so I'm going to try it. some extreme scrapping going to the scrapyard right now let's see if we have time to even get the samurai today we'll scrap the samurai we'll have three vehicles down in two days if that's the case second round green flag all right so they were trying to unload it with the front loader the machine pig from yesterday he was trying to use that machine well the truck cracked in half so now he's got to grab that grapple and take it off with that Oh, 
awesomeness. Yeah, it looks like we're coming off the scale at 10.660 again. Today is the third round of scrap. I wanted to do like at least one or two vehicles the first day. Yeah, it looks like I'm doing a vehicle every single day. Today, however, you can see that there's not really a vehicle on here at the moment. The vehicle is over there, and that's the Samurai. It's parked right next to the Ranger. Yes, Jake's Danger Ranger. We got it all here. We got riding mowers, we got basketball hoops, we got the old Duramax hood, we got stoves and whatever this thing is. I don't know, but it's got bullet holes in it. I also have a golf cart back there. So we're just doing scrap, and then we'll probably get back up to crush. From there, we'll let the universe guide us, and we'll see what the rest of the day gives us. I just dropped off the first load. I'm in the woods currently to get my uncle's battery. I'm at his campsite, so he's bringing me a wireless remote to make life a little easier. However, I gotta rush back, though, because this battery is running his refrigerator and keeping his food nice and cool. So we're definitely gonna be on a rescue mission. I have this golf cart here that I received that I thought I might do something with it. Never ended up doing that. Nature's taking it over. Mother Nature wins every single time, but my uncle also gave me this thing. And what this is, is a wireless remote, so I can be back there or up here. Oh! It actually works. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Come on, baby. Now who's winning, Mother Nature? When you're working a winch, you don't wanna just go full blown, even though this is a very light load. Uh, you want to give a winch a break, otherwise it's it's no good. I stopped by my shop though and got some wire, and I hooked it up to his charging system, so this should be charging. Yes, I know it doesn't look beautiful right now. We're we're on a crunch. We got to make sure the food doesn't get cold. Come on, food is very important. Got it. And this sucker even comes with a battery. That's extra money. That's extra top end money. If we go with the KTM, we still, it's like 50-50, you guys. You guys gotta make up your minds. 50% of you are saying Honda, 50% of you are saying KTM. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm very glad that it's finally almost over. The only thing left in the field, in the middle of the field, is the Ranger. And then my cousins, they got some machines over there. Well, I don't know if they're really officially machines. I don't see no decals on them. But he still has some treasures in the field. Believe it or not, that's what the Samurai used to look like. That was a Samurai. Now, what are the chances of that? One goes to die and one still living. It really shows you how people treat their things totally, totally different. Like this was just used as a field truck. Theirs is used as like a boat hauler. It's crazy. Operation Scrapyard is complete. We got all three vehicles out. We got that golf cart out. We, we picked up a lot of stuff. And I just gotta get the trailer off and this machine, the Duramax, has completed its job. It's like taking a 3,000 pound book bag off after a long day of walking. Let's go work on Crush or something. Holy cow, it's official. So we finally dealt with that fiasco so we don't have to worry about that anymore. So now it's time to focus back on Crush. I have the majority of the fluid in the transmission and I have the first portion of oil in the oil tank. On Crush, in the manual, it says you run, wanna run two quarts at first and then the remaining, I think like 1.75 after the first portion goes through the engine. One thing that I gotta bring up, we got a new t-shirt design. It's got the American flag in the machine M. Not only that, but I'm restocked in machine in black, 3D machines in black, and then the wildly popular Braptastic decals. This shirt's dropping at the perfect time because it's Memorial Day weekend. I appreciate all you veterans out there. Thank you very much for your service. So we're gonna do a little bit of a giveaway. I'm going to give away three shirts uh, the same shirt that I'm wearing, but in black. I'm not exactly sure, but this kind of looks bluish green to me. And then this gray one. However, all these shirts are in large. The shirts are available for pre-order at machinemerch.com. If you buy anything, whether it's a decal or a new shirt, uh, you will be automatically entered into getting a new large uh, machine shirt that will never be sold. So basically a collector's item. The only difference will be that the M's on the shirts that you guys are ordering, because this is just kind of like a prototype, the M is going to be bigger, so this will drive Drop this down probably by an inch or two. Because you want to rep the American flag. And plus it looks extremely hot. I got this thing just kind of hanging out, but I want to see if it turns over any better. I did put it on the trickle charge for probably 30 minutes. I don't think that's going to change too much. That's what it was. We used too thin a wire the original time. I got way, way beefier wire. Now I got to turn this thing off and put 1.75, something like that in the engine. Eventually. How's wiring crush up going? Good. Uh, this thing? If it can cut your fingers off, that's what I want. Well, this is gonna cut my finger yeah, off. Yeah, that'll be perfect. There's a lot of tools that can cut off your hand, dude. House of Wax. Do you, do you wanna try? I use one of those. 
there's a girl in, in the uh, sewer, puts her finger up, and he clips off her finger with one of these and stuffs it in his pocket. Can you say spoiler alert? The movie's like 10 years old. I was tasked with cleaning these bad boys, these bad girls over here, nose clippers. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? Needle nose? Needle nose. <laughs> no, <it's great>. no, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't put that in there. I'm putting that in there. <laughs> that shirt's impeccable. Oh, be. It's pronounced fly, and yes, it is. Transmission fluid is good. You can cool. upload. I'm gonna so go you're gonna home. Stores without me? Yeah. What a jerk. We have two machines out here. This guy has had his fluids changed. Now it's his turn or her turn. What is the Duramax? Is it a boy or is it a girl? I, I'm confused. It's currently nine o'clock. It's getting very, very dark, very, very quick. The Duramax has new fluids, so he or she is running better than ever before. I'm hooking up the trailer. We're gonna load up Crush tonight. I look forward to seeing all you machines and machine freaks at the race. And if you don't come to the race, that's okay because I will make a video and then there will also be some bonus footage of probably like 99% of the race on my Patreon page, which will be linked in the description. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Yay!